Welcome everyone to Veterans Voices, where we honor our military veterans. In the next half hour, we're going to be sharing with you the stories that showcase the true contributions of those who have served in the U.S. Armed Forces. We start with a nonprofit organization working to really improve the mental health of female veterans through outdoor and social activities. Katie Augustine highlights the voices of female veterans from Charleston, South Carolina. It was the quickest way out of my little town. From a high school classroom in Maine to U.S. Army basic training. Served enlisted for 14 years and then direct commissioned and so I'm still in. A journey into a male-dominated field was the right choice for Angie Powers. I had always wanted to serve. Now, decades later. In May, I'll have 30 years of reserve time. Service has taken its toll on Powers' mental health. PTSD and MST, military sexual trauma, led her on a search for an outlet. Moving here three years ago, um, I, I met Brooke, and she had talked about veteran organizations here in South Carolina. And uh, we really didn't have anything that was fem just for females. It's because of people like Powers that Brooke Jackson Kahn, who also serves in the Army, stepped up to make a difference. I uh, decided to start something myself. The organization is called She's the Veteran. It caters only to female vets and those who are currently serving with a focus on mental health. PTSD is both underdiagnosed and undertreated in the female veteran. So that was a really important subject to me um, based on my own experience and seeing what women had gone through. She says women tend to keep the effects of PTSD such as anxiety, depression and isolation to themselves while carrying on with other responsibilities. Picking up the kids and making the lunches and taking care of the things with the house and paying the bills. But by the way, you're still going to go report to duty at 0500. For several hundred female vets, she's the veteran, gives them a community and a chance to heal. We really focus on neuroplasticity, so that's just improving mental health through learning a skill. Fishing, sailing, and horseback riding, just a few examples. Power says it works. It's been a big surprise to me uh, to see how much it has helped. She and others have found their home through She's the Veteran. And everyone who comes uh, walks away with a little something that they felt like they belong. For Veterans Voices, I'm Katie Augustine. Well, veterans wear the uniform to serve our country, but their service does not have to stop when they leave the military. An Air Force veteran is proving that to be true by helping her fellow veterans through some of the most traumatic events of their lives. Marilena Valores explains. When you're sitting in the emotions all day, every day, how do you function? You can't. Not effectively. That was the lesson about trauma Dr. Janelle Royster learned while serving in the Air Force. One of the things I was struggling with was um, shame and guilt from my best friend's um, suicide. She was a veteran and I wasn't allowed to go to her funeral because I had to be back to my permanent duty station because I was still active duty Air Force. She saw many doctors who diagnosed her with complex PTSD and gave her a variety of medications. They didn't work and she realized something had to change. I figured doctor heal thyself, right? Go back to school, get your master's in mental health counseling. She has now developed a new way to process trauma called the Trauma Recovery Intervention Protocol or TRIP. So what we do is we go before the trauma ever happened. What were you doing where you were safe before this event happened? What were you doing when you were safe after? Unlike many traditional forms of therapy, TRIP doesn't ask veterans to revisit every single traumatic event they've ever experienced. It wasn't doing anything for me to have to relive those events over and over because to, to me it was almost, it was keeping me in a state of trauma. And that change made all the difference for Michael Murray, who's a retired Marine infantry officer and was medevaced out of Afghanistan in 2012. After the hour, about an hour and a half I spent with Dr. Royster, so many things changed. Murray founded a nonprofit, Liberty OBE, to help veterans and first responders. And now he and Royster are working together to spread trip across the country. A traumatic event happens within seconds. Why can't you solve the problem within minutes? Their mission is to help people cope with trauma and lower the veteran suicide rate through talking and training. If you need help coping with trauma or if you want to sponsor training for other veterans to go through the protocol, visit LibertyOVE.com. In Norfolk, I'm Maria Lana Baloris.
coming up, we take a look at what makes one memorial site so special to veterans and why millions congregate every year to honor service members. Presenting Veterans Voices, honoring those who serve. Mount Soledad National Veterans Memorial honors thousands of veterans with personalized plaques about their service. The memorial is ever-growing, relying solely on donations to continue honoring the legacies of our nation's heroes. Veterans Voices, brought to you by Modern Heart and Vascular Institute. Attention Medicare beneficiaries, if you have or are eligible for Medicaid, please listen closely. You may be eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare with a zero or low plan premium. Call now. We can answer your questions and help you enroll over the phone. WellCare provides access to essential benefits that go beyond original Medicare, such as dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage with free home delivery. Free over-the-counter health care items, free groceries with a healthy food card, free gym membership, and home-delivered meals. Plus, extra benefits like more access to care with free transportation and WellCare's telehealth services, including online doctor visits. WellCare is contracted with Medicare to provide plans that may be perfect for you. Call 1-866-907-2885 now. That's 1-866-907-2885. WellCare, Medicare done well. Presenting Veterans Voices, honoring those who serve. The holiday season can be hard for those in the military and their families. Pack for Patriots aims to support those currently serving by organizing and sending care packages to troops deployed around the world. Veterans Voices, brought to you by Dreams for Veterans, serving our nation's terminally ill military veterans by bringing their final dreams to life. Tens of thousands of people visit Mount Soledad National Veterans Memorial in San Diego every year. Now it's working to expand its legacy. Kathleen Bade explains. On one of San Diego's most scenic vantage points lies the Mount Soledad National Veterans Memorial, a memorial unlike any other. These walls with pictures of husbands and wives or brothers or service members, there is no other memorial in the country that does this. More than 5,000 black granite plaques line the walls, each one sharing a unique story of courage and sacrifice. Every rank from every service, from the Revolutionary War to the present day, and there is no special wall set aside for rank or service or any point in time in history. Service is the centerpiece of the memorial. Anyone, no matter where they're from, who was honorably discharged can have a plaque here. And it's that all-embracing mosaic of service that's now growing even larger. The memorial is building more walls to honor and preserve the legacies of thousands more service members. Five new walls which will provide us 2,000 more plaque spaces. A part of that expansion is building on their existing website, SoledadMemorial.org, and creating an app where people can find the face they're looking for and the story behind their sacrifice from anywhere in the world. But if you do step foot here, you're in good hands. We're supported by a team of 24 docents who take a watch up here and engage with the public, keep the memorial clean, and tell the stories of these veterans that are on these, these walls. They have a syllabus to study the remarkable military history remembered here, like Major Megan McClung, the first female Marine Corps officer killed in Iraq. I often actually imagine her talking to, to me, to us, to our group, and I can hear her voice even to this day. Combat photojournalist Amy Forsythe served alongside Megan, even training with her at Camp Pendleton before deployment. As the first female Marine officer to be killed in Iraq, that was significant, and it got people's attention. The Mount Soledad Memorial doing its part to keep Megan's memory alive, dedicating their Memorial Day ceremony to her 
this past May. Well, I can't thank the organization enough for making her uh, the centerpiece, and especially being a woman and honoring that sacrifice, because oftentimes those heroes, those combat infantry, Marines, soldiers, sailors, airmen, they're the ones with the glory, but oftentimes it's the people in the background who also risked everything. Megan is remembered as an all-American girl who made the ultimate sacrifice, like so many of the heroes honored alongside her. Her mantra was, be bold, be brief, be gone, and that's the way she lived her life. A life along with the thousands honored here, worthy of such heights, standing tall for eternity from dusk until dawn. So many incredible legacies. Well, every year thousands of veterans are given the opportunity to take what's called an honor flight to the nation's capital. The trips are part of a program to thank veterans. Ken Wayne explains and accompanied 28 veterans on their honor flight from San Francisco to Washington. The flight arrived at Reagan National Airport and the veterans got quite the surprise when they stepped off the plane. The rest of the weekend was a whirlwind of visits to memorials and museums. The Army Museum featured a riveting segment on Vietnam, the war most of these vets were involved in. At the World War II Memorial, a native of San Francisco's Chinatown explained why he enlisted at the age of 18. Somebody got to bring the soldiers back home and who's going to replace them? So I said, well, it's my, my duty right to go in and have them come back home to see their family. So do my part in releasing them. You know? During a lunch stop at the Navy Memorial, the vets were given yet another surprise, a performance by the Marine Corps silent drill team known as the Marching 24. Names of fallen comrades were copied from the Vietnam Wall and tokens left behind in their memory. Four Bay Area veterans had the honor of presenting a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington Cemetery. The last night featured one of every soldier's favorite military memories, mail call. Only in this case, the letters were from loved ones today, thanking their veteran for their service. Another surprise after the veterans arrived behind schedule at SFO. The plane was delayed by two hours, yet a large crowd remained to give many of these vets the welcome home they never got when they returned from Vietnam. In San Francisco, Ken Wayne reporting. Beautiful sight to see. Well, coming up, one man wants to motivate his fellow veterans in a special way. We'll look at how a former Marine is showing veterans how to fight outside the battlefield. Sunday, November 20th, the Waltons return in an all-new holiday special in a new story of the true meaning of giving. Can I stay here tonight? I don't have anywhere else to go. I feel like he deserves a family that can love and support him like he's never known before. We do have plenty of that to spare. You're a good man, John Walton. And I'm nothing without you. A Walton's Thanksgiving, new holiday special, Sunday, November 20th, only on The CW. Presenting Veterans Voices, honoring those who serve. The Spinal Cord Injury Research Program is involved in studies to improve the lives of paralyzed veterans. With the use of exoskeleton, those veterans are going from a wheelchair to standing and walking. Veterans Voices, brought to you by Dreams for Veterans, serving our nation's terminally ill military veterans by bringing their final dreams to life. Age comes with wisdom. And wisdom comes with benefits. Dryer's broken. You want a socket. So make the wise call and compare your Medicare Advantage plan with Cigna. Or it's molar. Cigna Medicare Advantage plans offer savings on your Part B premium, up to $20,000 in covered dental services, and a Cigna Healthy Today Flex card for easy access to rewards and select benefits. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. 
<laughs> so if you're 65 or older, call 1-855-721-1539 today. Cigna also offers hearing, vision, and an over-the-counter allowance all in one plan. Piggy bank. And up to $200 for doing healthy activities. So call 1-855-721-1539. That number again is 1-855-721-1539 to compare your Medicare Advantage plan to Cigna. Welcome back, everyone, to Veterans Voices. I'm Sharon Melton. A Marine veteran in Chesapeake has a debilitating disease that he refuses to let stand in his way. Chris Horn shows us this man's remarkable spirit for helping others. He can't speak, but he can get the word out. My brain and soul are still intact in this husk of my body. He can't walk, but he can lead the charge. This Marine has retired, but not retreated. He used to run marathons, and at age 60 was still bench pressing 300 pounds. And then, two years ago, at age 62... I was still lifting weights and noticed I was having more difficulty than I should have. My wife thought I was day drinking because I was slurring my words. The diagnosis, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. Over the years, modern medicine has taken many swings at a cure, but has yet to connect. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. We know it better as Lou Gehrig's disease, but now it's also Chris Mulholland's disease. I immediately began reading about ALS and was stunned to read that veterans are twice as likely to contract it than civilians. He had 20 years with the Corps, including tours in Lebanon right after the barracks bombing, as well as Iraq. But now Mulholland began to gear up for a new mission, writing articles in Military Times, citing research on the prevalence of ALS among post-9-11 deployed veterans, more than three times the rate in the civilian population. Mulholland became active in the VFW, the ALS Association, and the Paralyzed Veterans Association. I was extremely pleased that I was able to have the VFW acknowledge and support veterans battling ALS at our recent national convention. And Mulholland says the effort to educate veterans about ALS gained more ground late last year. That's when President Biden signed the Accelerating Access to Critical Therapies for ALS Act. That was another initiative I was strongly involved in. Mulholland says the testing and approval process for new therapies takes too long for today's patients. In the meantime, he refuses to let the ravages of ALS define him. Once a Marine, always a Marine. The person I was, I still am. So I will continue this fight till my dying breath. And coming up on Veterans Voices, a special job sometimes requires a special partner. How one man says his role to protect and serve would be incomplete without his special companion. We'll be back. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. People tell us all the time, I wish I called you right after my car crash. If you've been injured, don't wait. Don't miss out. Don't have regrets. Call Terry Bryant. Presenting Veterans Voices, honoring those who serve. Major Chris Mulholland served 20 years in the Marines and at age 62 was diagnosed with ALS. Despite his limitations, he has become active in the VFW Paralyzed Veterans Association and ALS Society to increase awareness among veterans. Veterans Voices, brought to you by Modern Heart and Vascular Institute. And welcome to the bell. Things ring here. We have a wonderful worship experience. We believe in lifting God. We take our praise to another level. We ask that you come and be a part of our church family. We've literally seen marriages restored. We've seen habits broken. So we pray that you come and join us where we'll have a wonderful time with you, a part of this family. May God bless you, and we're looking for you. Seriously injured? Now your medical bills are piling up and you can't work because of your injuries? Mocarum Law is one of the nation's premier personal injury law firms. With over 25 years of experience battling insurance companies to get innocent accident victims the compensation they deserve. Call anytime, 24-7 at 713-900-2222. You pay nothing unless we win. Call now for a free consultation at 713-900-2222. 713-900-2222. 
This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Hurt on the job but don't have workers' compensation insurance? You may be able to get money for your injuries even if your employer doesn't have workers' comp. Call Terry Bryant, 713-973-8888. Welcome back to Veterans Voices. A U.S. Marine Corps vet continues to serve his country at the very heart of our democracy. Sean Haynes now patrols the U.S. Capitol grounds with a special four-legged partner. Anna Wernicke reports from our nation's capital. He is my partner. His name is Lord. Former U.S. Marine Sean Haynes joined the Capitol Police Force 33 years ago. Lord is his fifth four-legged partner. My third dog, his name was uh, Hawk. He was a Dutch Shepherd. He was single-purpose, explosive detection. Uh, my fourth dog was a black Labrador retriever named Will. Uh, single purpose, and um, now I have Lord. Haynes teamed up with Lord in 2018. They are one of 56 canine crews that patrol and protect the grounds of the U.S. Capitol and the lawmakers inside. The canine unit is a select team within the U.S. Capitol Police Department. Each dog is paired with a technician, and together they go through an extensive training program before they report here to the Capitol. It's the best job on the department. Haynes is one of the longest serving technicians in the canine unit, a role he says the Marines prepared him for. I'm very disciplined. Um, I'm never late for work. <laughs> I'm always an hour early, you know, every day since I've been here. In 2019, Haynes and his partner were honored by the department for finding and catching a suspect accused of killing a 15 year old boy. But his most unforgettable moment as an officer happened 21 years ago. On September 11th, Haynes and his partner Fanto were on duty when three hijacked planes crashed into the Twin Towers and Pentagon. A couple of canine teams were sent out to the Pentagon to um, provide explosive detection capabilities during the recovery effort at, uh, at the Pentagon. So I get a little you know, teared up about this sometimes. Yeah, because I saw a lot. So. Yeah. Haynes says he's not sure when he will retire, but he knows that when he does, Lord will retire too. For Veterans Voices, I'm Anna Warnicke. And coming up, one nonprofit is making sure veterans feel at home for the holidays. How they are delivering smiles as they gear up for the holiday season. Attention Medicare beneficiaries, if you have or are eligible for Medicaid, please listen closely. You may be eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare with a zero or low plan premium. Call now. We can answer your questions and help you enroll over the phone. WellCare provides access to essential benefits that go beyond original Medicare, such as dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage with free home delivery. Free over-the-counter health care items, free groceries with a healthy food card, free gym membership, and home-delivered meals. Plus, extra benefits like more access to care with free transportation and WellCare's telehealth services, including online doctor visits. WellCare is contracted with Medicare to provide plans that may be perfect for you. Call 1-866-907-2885. Now. That's 1-866-907-2885. WellCare, Medicare done well. Welcome to Tomorrow's World, where we make sense of your world through the pages of the Bible. Where we bring to life Bible prophecy. My friends, we're living in the prophesied time of the end. Your Bible reveals the future of the world and your part in it. But what exactly is this kingdom that Jesus proclaimed? And what does that have to do with you? On this program, we'll explore the answer. You need this information. Watch Sunday morning at 7.30 on CW39 Houston. To the tooth grinders, the ice chewers, and the bottle openers, you are welcome here. At Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics, we get it. Life happens, and your teeth take a beating. We're here to meet you where you are, which means creating payment plans that work with your budget, whether you're insured or not. At Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics, all smiles are welcome here. Not just the perfect ones. Call 800-449-5058. Welcome back to Veterans Voices, everyone. The holiday season can be really hard for those in the military and their families. So one nonprofit organization in North Carolina aims to support those currently serving. As Ken Waddington shows us, they're doing so one care package at a time. 
On the outside, it looks like your basic strip mall. But there's plenty of hustle and bustle inside one of the units. This is where the magic happens for Aiden, North Carolina-based NC Packs for Patriots. We call this the southern branch of the North Pole. That's because they're packing with a purpose. We are preparing Christmas for troops who are away from their families and friends and homes for Christmas. So we try to send a little touch and taste of the holidays to our troops who are serving away. Barbara Whitehead started NC Packs for Patriots back in 2004. People don't realize you're standing within a two-hour drive of the largest bases for all five branches of the military. The nonprofit first collects donations from businesses, churches, and individuals from across eastern North Carolina. Then volunteers pack those donations to send to service members around the world. From the time that uh, I've been overseas myself, to have these care packages come in, um, it makes it a little bit easier to be away from family, especially during the holidays. And what makes NC Packs for Patriots even more remarkable is that everything you see in this facility is donated. And that includes what goes into the care packages, like the toiletries or maybe some snacks for the troops. But the most important donation is monetary. They need money to pay for the postage to send out these care packages. Our Christmas packages alone probably will be about $8,000. And that's just a one-month, four-week period. And people are donating their time, too. Volunteers like Judy Dobler. Even a small group of two people make a difference. We've been coming to NC PACS to help for the, about the last eight years. Besides supporting the troops, there's another reason Judy says she keeps coming back, and that's Barbara. She's just one of a kind. Um, we said she should write a book with what she's been doing because it's so meaningful to so many people. Still making a difference nearly two decades later. Just thank you so much. <laughs> the mission continues. So it's not just about Christmas in here because we have troops who are deploying and they're always in my heart. For Veterans Voices, I'm Ken Watlington in Aden, North Carolina. And that does it for our Veterans Voices special. Thank you to all of our servicemen and women out there. We truly believe in you. I'm Sharon Melton with CW39 Houston. We hope you all have a great day and say thank you to a veteran when you see them. Take care.